guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. And today we are making some really cute DIY squishies. I know you guys are getting tired of this phrase, but while I was in Japan, I saw a kit on some DIY squishies and I was so excited to try it out. The only problem is that all the instructions are in Japanese and I don't speak Japanese, but fortunately I did take AP Mandarin. So I do know that you can, um, take a picture of text and then translate it using Google Translate. And in case you can't get this Japanese kit, then I'm also going to be doing a follow-up video on this using an American kit that I just ordered. Should be coming in soon, so I'll post a video on that in the future, probably within two or three weeks. And then before we get started, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. But I do also know that YouTube subscriptions and notifications can be kind of weird. So the surefire way to make sure you know when I post a video is to follow me on Snapchat or follow me on Instagram and have notifications on. Snapchat is at Kawaii Sweet Eats and then Instagram is also at Kawaii Sweet Eats. So that way you know for sure when I post a video. And now without further ado, let's get started. So this is what our kit looks like and we're just going to go ahead and open this up. So you can see they give you some gloves. Didn't end up using those ones because they're pretty big and my hands are pretty small. You got some measuring cups, a stirring stick, and then you've got part A and part B. And then also a little info sheet. Now this came with a whole bunch of warnings in Japanese. Unfortunately, I couldn't read any of them, so I just had to cross my fingers and hope for the best. And there's also a Q&A section. Uh, couldn't read that either. And some more warnings at the bottom, which I also couldn't read. Um, one of those says book in Mandarin, which is like half of can't. So essentially, we're gonna wing it. I do know that you need a scale to measure these out though. So I picked this one up off of Amazon. Did not know that it was like pocket sized, but that's great because then whenever I'm out and about and I'm like, well, I would buy this purse if I knew how many grams it was, I'm all set. Anyways though, I'm gonna start off by measuring out 10 grams of part A. You wanna have a 10 to four ratio here. So you can do 10 grams of part A and four grams of part B, or you can do 20 and eight, 40 and 16, you get the idea. And now I'm gonna measure out four grams of part B. The original directions tell you to measure this into a separate cup, which is what I'm doing here. But I actually found that it's a lot easier to measure it into the same cup as part A. You just have to measure quickly though because the reaction is gonna start immediately. But it's totally worth it because it was just really hard to scrape out the four grams out of this big cup. And now it's time to mix these together. So I'm just doing my best to scrape out all of part B into part A. And then I'll mix it all up really well. And then it's time to pour it into our different silicone molds. You can do cupcakes, you can do Hello Kitty, and I did add in way too much here, and you'll see what that looks like in just a little bit. Or you can do some donuts. And then let that sit in the molds for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you can see these puff up so much, it's so cool, they totally turn into squishies. And then here's the Hello Kitty one. So I might have added in like just a little bit too much solution there, seeing that like the back tumor is larger than Hello Kitty itself, but it's okay. I just cut off the back piece and actually made another squishy from that. And then make as many squishies as you would like to. Once you're done admiring your different creations, we're just going to brush on some different chalk pastels and this way they look like real desserts. Also, I wanted to point out those really long hairs that you can see on my marble slab there. Uh, that's from the paintbrush. I'm not like shedding really long eyebrow hairs as I'm doing this. The only thing is that I found out that some of the chalk pastel would rub off on my fingers as I was squishing it. So to help mitigate that, I just squished it in a paper towel for a bit just to get off some of the excess pastel. And then once you've dusted all of your different squishies, it is time to decorate. I recommend using puppy paint to do this just because it'll dry nice and flexible and squishable. And I'm starting off with one of the internet's favorite things, which is a unicorn cupcake. So I'm just squirting some of that white scribbles all over the surface and I'll spread it out with a popsicle stick. If you've ever worked with puppy paint before, you'll know that it takes absolutely forever to dry. This took about 10 hours, so just be patient. And then of course our unicorn has to have a horn. I just made this gold one using polymer clay then using some more puppy paint, I just added on the mane. And then with black fabric paint, I'm gonna paint on some pretty little eyelashes. The final touch is just to pop in the ears, also made of polymer clay. And now our unicorn cupcake is finished. Moving on to the next squishy, we're going to make a Rilakkuma donut. So I'm just grabbing some brown scribbles here and I'm gonna pipe on the border for our frosting. And then I'm just going to fill it all in using my puppy paint, just adding on a ton of little squiggles until we basically have like 
a brown spaghetti kind of? I don't know. Then with our popsicle stick, I'm just gonna go ahead and spread it all out. And then we're gonna let that set overnight for about 10 hours, depending on how heavy of a sleeper you are. And then we can add on Rillacuma's features. I'm using some white puffy paint for the muzzle. Then I'll dot on some eyes and some ears and some ear like filling bits. I don't know what it's called. To make this even cuter, I'm also going to add on some drizzle. This is supposed to be icing, but I realize it looks kind of like mustard. Uh, but for my sake, let's pretend it's icing. The final touch is just to paint on a mouth. I'm using some fabric paint there. And now our Rillacuma donut is finished and he's looking super cute. The rest of these basically use the same techniques to achieve different looks. And you guys are smart. I think you get the gist of this one. So let's move on to a different technique. To add frosting onto your cupcakes, you can actually use silicone that you can get from the hardware store. This is typically used to fill in gaps in a window or by your bathroom, but it also makes really great cupcake frosting, little known fact. It's super inexpensive, only about two or three dollars, and you're just gonna pipe it on just like regular icing. And then I'm gonna add on some little decorations. I'll leave a link to where you can get these guys down below. And that is how you make a frosted cupcake, super cute. And that's basically it guys, just let all of them dry fully before you start squishing them too much. But I definitely recommend this kit, I'll leave a link to it down below so you can check it out. And uh, yeah, let's hop into the outro. Alright guys, our DIY squishies are finished now, and I think that this is so cool. When you see like the squishies expanding and it like becoming foam, it's awesome. And I'm also really excited to make some more of these using the American kit because hopefully that one will work out. And of course, I'll be sure to share that kit with you guys as well. But anyways, though, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And then if you did, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. And then you can also follow me on social media at Kawaii Sweet Eats, links below. I'll also have a link to my last video video right down there and then you can also check out my Etsy sticker shop right over there I sell different planner stickers that you can just throw in your agenda just to help you stay motivated and organized and that is all of the social media and self-plugging that I have to do I'll see you guys all back here very soon bye guys